Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, we are looking at mainly dry conditions out there right now, but we do have one lonely downpour across southeastern Mass. Let's get a look at it. Live Doppler radar. You can see the scope of this. Fairly dry. There's actually another one uh, south of uh, Hyannis, Massachusetts, out there on the Cape. There's this little downpour working its way across northern New Bedford. Be moving away, and there still could be another shower, downpour, maybe even a rumble of thunder over the next couple of hours. Threat tracker for tonight. Low chance of severe weather. Same for Monday and same for Tuesday. Tomorrow's looking good. Tuesday we've got rain in the forecast and some thunder. This may have to go up to that medium level as we are looking at potential for a widespread rain with some embedded thunderstorms. Here's Newport right now. Decent visibility. Here's the hurricane barrier cam and the highway bridge. Temperature currently at 77 degrees with the humidity at this time of night. Feels like close to 80 with a southwest wind 10 miles an hour. 70s even at the south coast. 74 in Smithfield, 73 in Westerly. Certainly a very summery feel to the air right now. Now, the satellite radar picture is showing some showers working their way on off to our south. Lots of clouds overhead. We have a cold front that's currently pushing through New England and it'll be sliding offshore throughout the course of the night. Let's take a look at it with our hour by hour forecast. Now, I'm thinking by tomorrow morning, say at five o'clock, that front's already offshore. Notice these northerly winds behind it. They'll be bringing in drier air and less humid air and cooler air as well. So tomorrow morning, no problems at all. Uh, Memorial Day parade ceremonies to go. No issues at all. Looking at sunshine for the afternoon hours as well. So here's what we're looking at for the overnight. Temperatures falling back through the 70s and 60s. Overnight lows in the low 60s. Humidity levels will drop overnight. Monday morning looks like this. Sunshine, few clouds around. Temperatures getting into the mid 70s by noontime. So a lot cooler than yesterday. We were in the 80s by noontime uh, today. Now tomorrow will only be in the uh, 70s at noontime. It'll be cooler even in the afternoon. 71 Narragansett, 70 or so in Wickford. Central and northern Rhode Island, low to mid 70s. I'm thinking uh, about 75, 76 from Johnston to Providence, West Warwick, Cranston. Boroughville, Foster, West Greenwich in the low 70s. Southeastern Mass, 70 in Taunton, 70 in Freetown. Winds tomorrow becoming a bit more southeasterly in the afternoon. That'll keep Dartmouth, Westport a smidge cooler. Out in the bay tomorrow, we are looking at winds initially from the north, turning more southeast by late in the day. Uh, 5 to 10 knots. Visibility should be unrestricted. Will it be a beach day? It's not going to be as warm as it was today. However, still some decent beach weather. Air temperature 72, lots of sunshine, safe sun time, only about 50. 15 minutes at the most. Seven day forecast. Now on Tuesday, looking at some changes. We're going to start the day with some sun, but lots of clouds arrive by midday. Showers, maybe a thunderstorm around as we head into the afternoon hours. Could be all afternoon that we're looking at that. On Wednesday, I think it's dry during the day. There could be some evening showers and thunderstorms, mainly after dark. Thursday, same deal. Might be some nighttime rain showers Thursday and into early Friday and then drier as we head into the weekend. So uh, three out of three this Memorial Day weekend, that's hard to do. Yeah, especially when people want it to be nice out. It never works out that way no, when you have this plans. Week this weekend was good. Yeah, it was great. Coming up in sports and eyewitness news.